Better get your seatbelt on, baby. A warm welcome Here to you all. Here we are then, ladies and delay, gentlemen. We are pleased to introduce the Argo Takeover is on. Where we take the almighty Argo and Home Park and the fans all the way to victory. I don't know why it's done that with the two squares. I don't know. So here we are then, pre-season tournament invite for Argo. We're going in, no surrender, the most money. Let's get it going. So here we are then, new FIFA, new career. The takeover is on. Let's have a look at the squad. The squad playing at a five back at the moment. We've got some big ballers in the team like Mayer, Hardy. Big Mumba turned up yesterday. What a finish from the fullback. I'm not really liking the uh, the old five back formation. I want to switch it up a little bit. So I might do that now. So I'm just going through the, the team here, to be fair. And we have actually got quite a lot of youngsters. We've got Whitaker here that also scored a bang yesterday. We've got NS23. And we can't forget the main man. If you're an Argo fan, you know that this guy has got a lot of potential. It's the big boy Cooper in goal. I'm pretty sure, confident his potential is going to be at least over 80. I don't care. My One of my objectives is to get this keeper to a 90 and in the England team. So I've just loaded up Squad Hub because I want to see what type of players are out on loan. See what we can get. So we've got Ni Big Nigel here, a.k.a. Van Dyke. I don't know what's going on with his face. I think FIFA's not rendering his face yet, so they've had a shocker there. Um, we've also got Ryan Law, 22 year old, 6 year old rated, the ginger freak, as I on loan in Gillingham. Uh, let's have a look who else we got. Uh, uh, we got Bale Mumba, on loan at Argo. To be honest, 20 years old, 66 rated. I'll be looking to maybe try and assign him on a, on a permanent, to be honest, when his contract ends. I don't know if we can. We could probably do that now, to be fair, but I'm just I'm just going to wait for a while. I mean, I don't know how long his loan spell is. Um, I don't know if you can check that, but we'll just see what happens with them. Then we got Azaz, a very big uh, baller as well from Ireland, on loan. Was really originally at Villa. We've got a lot of our big, big ballers on loan, which is a shame. But you know, we've got some money. See how we do in the first season, and we can maybe sign these players fully. So this is the formation that I'm thinking of playing as with the players we've got in the team. Kind of want to go Argo all out attack. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell is Grant in left wing? He's there for just a reason. I need to. I think that's where I'm going to try and upgrade Argo. I was thinking about putting Ennis in left wing because he has got pace, but then you know crossing into the box, it's just not that good. I mean, 49 crossing, it's just not what you want to see. So I'm going to do some rotational with him and Hardy and Cosgrove. Um, big mayor in the middle. We, we all know what he can do, so he's definitely got to stay in that team. And obviously Whitaker. I know we haven't signed him. Our Cam and our and our right winger, they're not signed players, they're loan players, but they're just ballers. They got they've got to be in the team. Especially what I saw from Worker the other day. It says here with the five back formation we have, Mumba was playing left wing back and he's right wing back. So what I'm gonna do, I know he can't play that position, I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna try and push him into a left left back. I would do it with Edwards, but I think Edwards is just He's got a stick to position, and at being at 31 years old, I don't think he can adapt to a different position. So we're on to the uh, player positioning now. It takes up to seven weeks for 
Bally Mumbo to do it. But, you know, that's absolutely fine. I'm pretty sure he can do the job. Uh, if he was playing left wing back, surely he can do the job in left back. It should be absolutely fine. Uh, there's a couple of other players here as well that we could definitely grow. Uh, our big Nigel, uh, aka our Van Dyke, aka FIFA hasn't rendered his face yet, but whatever. We're not going to change position, we're just going to uh, stuff on a defensive centre back to so 15 weeks and he gets a bit more of an upgrade. Happy days. Cooper, our main man. No one's. This guy's going to stay to the very end of FIFA for me for this, this season. He ain't going nowhere. I'll pay. He can give the biggest wage in the world. He's not going anywhere. If you don't rate him, you're an idiot. Sorry that I've said it. Dan Scar, like I said, I'm just going to go through all these and just pit, you know, the, probably the shorter week on, to be honest. I just need the best dog I could possibly can. Is Dan Scar, is that a game face? No, no, that's a bit of a game face, but I don't know. Uh, let's just keep going through these. I'll get through these and then we'll, uh, I'll jump into the transfer with my transfer targets. I'm looking for in that left wing spot. Just a quick note, to be fair, a lot of Oracle players... Before we go on to the transfer, I'll just uh, continue doing this. We've got uh, quite a lot of game faces. We've got Brendan Galloway there. The Zimbabwe fucking centre back. He's got a game face this year. We've got Matt Butcher with a game face. Just continue doing these. But I thought I'd just make a quick note But if anyone else wanted to do an Argo career. Um, you know, a couple of game faces, to be fair. No Ryan Hardy, though. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Anyway, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll finish off this and then we'll uh, crack on to the transfer targets. So I found I found two prospects, but before I reveal them, I'm just going to let my scouts um, just get a bit more info about them. So it takes up to 12 days, but before, so whilst we're waiting on that, just go look at my inbox here and see what they're saying. So the Plymouth board, uh, we recognize, recognize you that you and your Stilvin calf, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yada, yada, you'll be facing the following team. So I think that's just a pre-season. Um, the window, yeah. Youth Academy, we'll, do, we'll check that in a minute. See if we got any ballers, because if anyone's played Korean one before, sometimes with the new versions of FIFA, you can get quite lucky and get a quite decent Youth Academy player to go right into the team. So that could be quite interesting and be ideal for us. Visions and expectations. First scout report. Uh, yeah, I think that's just 12 players. I think that's just a random one. I was When I did my search for the players that I was looking for the team, I didn't go through... The global scout or where it is, I just searched it for myself. Only because they're like two star rated and they're just going to find stinkers. So I was just trying to find young players, but I'll reveal them in a minute when the days go past. But for now, let's let's have a look at our youth academy report. See if we get a bit lucky. Nah, not really. Not the best. I mean, if I mean this guy, my man's a 38 overall. I mean, can't even kick a ball. I mean, state that. So I'm going to release all these. Uh, I might try and invest a lot of the money if I've got any spare in the youth academy players uh, scouts because being at this league uh, in league one kind of like the overall rating is around 60 to 70 mark maybe lower so if you get any uh, an academy player nines out of 10 they're like 68 67 overall so they can come into the first team straight away which would be brilliant for us and it'll help us get promoted and bring us a lot of success which is the main goal so yeah I'll, i'm just gonna skip some of the days until we get up to uh, I think it's 12 days, so yeah, I'll get to there in a minute and uh, I'll report back on how we get on with the scouts. Radio, so days have gone by finally. It actually took up to the 14th or the 12th. During that period, it seemed we did get an offer of uh, Ryan Hardy. I did reject it. I mean, I'm not letting him go off to some weird ass club like that. And two, I, I want to give him a chance, like, you know what I mean? It's Ryan Hardy, for God's sakes. I mean, it's a good player for us. We need to keep him in the team. You know, he's our starting striker at the moment. So yeah, he ain't going nowhere. So yeah, these are the two players I was looking at. Uh, Rico Richards and Morgan Rogers. Rico Richards, 56 overall, 18. You know, it's not the best overall, but you know, we need someone in that left wing spot. It's not the most paciest lad either. So we might look into somewhere else. And we've also looked at this Morgan R Rogers, but I've just noticed he looks like an absolute baller. I just realized he's actually not willing to relocate. I mean, it's annoying because he is affordable. Uh, but the problem is, he's not looking to relocate from Man City. I mean, yeah, the thing is, he's not going to get game time there. So I, won't, I don't know why he wouldn't want to come to us. So I might look at this Rico Richards. I'm not too sure. They're not looking for a lot, to be honest. So I think, to be fair, I'm going to go for my new signing. I'm not going to pay the release calls. That's just stupid. So let's see if we can bring this player in. There we go. Look, there I am. At my office, looking for this potential talent of a player. Let's see how this gets on. 
West Albion. There we go then. West Albion manager. Let's let's go for it, shall we? So I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna put 270 in. I'm gonna go a little bit lower than the mark that they've asked for. You know, I wanna try and keep as much money as I can. Oh, I've got a stormer. So I think in this view as well, it actually ranks uh you know your deal like how much you've paid for the player. So see what rank I get if it goes through. So let's go talk to the lad. Let's get it going. Don't know what's his wage on. Can I have a look quick? Yeah, I can get it quick. He's on 2,000. I just got a glimpse of it before it went back down. So yeah, so here he comes. The, the potential new signing for Plymouth Fargo. He's a very uh, low-rated player. But hey, I believe in him. I believe in him. I believe in Rico Richards. He wants to be a prospect, absolutely. I agree on that. Five years, absolutely. Let's get it going. Sign the goddamn country. No release cause, ding dang do. That's happy with me. Right, so the money. So I'm going to be a bit cheeky and I'm going to offer him a little bit lower because it is a lower tier team, I believe. Oh, oh Jesus, I don't want that much. Uh, so let's go. Let's go with that. I'm going to drop his wages quite a lot. So we want to keep as much money as we can for our goal. There we go. Richard's agent says that's a reasonable offer. And boom, there we have it. Our new signing. Question is, what kit number are we going to give him? There he is, like shaking handshakes with the main man. Loving the dreadlocks. My man. Get him in. Here he is. The new cutscenes. This is the first time I've ever seen this, and potentially you, you as well. There I am, the gaffer. There he is, training up. Got some intense music. It's probably copyrighted, but we don't care. There he is, the, the sign in. Number 13, should we just keep his number 13? Here we go then. So West Bromwich Albion to Plymouth Fargo. Happy days. What ranks are you gonna give me? Probably shocking you watch. B, but I'll take a B. Near A, innit? Great price. I've got a Stormer. Right, so I think we actually are near the first game of the season. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna get this player for we'll probably do Hayden. And uh, you never know, we might we might take him on. For now. Who else can I play there? Because I don't wanna like jump him right in, because I don't wanna spook him. I wanna ease him into it. So who can we probably play there? We could probably put Maya there. He can play left wing, can he? Yeah, he'd be fine. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. We'll get Butcher in there. And there we go. There is the team for the first game. Let's jump into it. So just before I jump in, I am playing this on Legendary at five minute half, and I will be playing the, uh, the majority of the game. Um, a lot of people could probably say, oh, why not do it on Oma? The reason I don't do it on Oma is due to the fact that is nothing different from legendary where it is but the only difference is the opponent team are all 99 so i just don't feel like that's quite realistic if i'm going against you know no disrespect to charleston all their players be 99 i mean that's not fair is it so anyway nothing me for uh yapping let's get it going So yeah, we have it. First game for Argo. Kind of pre preseason tournament. We can, if we win this, then you know, more dollar, more signings, more improvements to the team. So yeah, we have it. Let's go. I can see that our fans have come in a long way. I can hear him. I'm not going to start it. Ooh. Kept doing well. Big Mumba. Running down the wing here. Playing a short. To Mayo. Hardy. Oh, Black Bear from Mumba. He's doing what he did. Oh, good interception. Hold him up. Hold him up. That's it. Like a big Virgil, look. Like a white head. <laughs> Good save, Cooper. My keeper. Yes, love that. All right, let's go. 
Bit of pressure there. There he is, Wicker. Overlaps on that. He wants it. Love that. Go on, Edwards. Get in there. Hardy wants it in the middle. Look. Touchdown, Hardy. Ah, not the best touch. Have it. Freaking hell, Butcher. Calm down, my son. Butcher's there, though. Butcher? Oh, he's in the ball. What a start for Argo. Back to back game. Luckily, uh, EA have actually got some of the Argo chance in the game, which is very rare to see from a lower tier team, but just shows how massive we are. Yeah, score. My centre back. Let's get it out. That's all right. Oh, not the best ball there. Looking for the one two. Oh, they could be through here. Oh, and Charles made it 1 0. Really sloppy pass in the middle. I don't know who played that off. I don't think we'll see it on the replay, but I was looking for the 1 2, and it was just this really sloppy pass to Azaz. I don't know who did it, but Charlie Kirk here with the first goal of the series. No way Cooper's getting that. Not the best start there for our goal. I need the options. This is my first game as well, so if I'm a bit sloppy, then you know why. I've got a bit of space here. So I'm going to make a run. Let's just, just keep the ball. As as wants it. Oh. We're getting chance. We are getting through like a little bit. We just need to execute it better. Oh, here we go again. Sean's going through. Done some weird back pass. Good inception. The Van Dyke. Oh, God's sake, come on, let's get it out. Another close scare. Come on, boys. Love that. As as. That's it, nice play. Oof. Close call. There comes Charlton here. They're looking dangerous. But a mumba. Ah, it's unlucky. Let's don't give him space. Oh, they snuck it through again. This is not the start we want to see. It's a good goal from him. It's a very good goal. It's not the start we want to see. A lot of work to be done, but this is what we have pre season. So we can fix these problems. It's a really good ball. Someone needs to be marking him, man. I can't blame Cuba for any of these goals, to be honest. I mean, defence needs to do better. Whoa, referee. You know, he's diving in, he? Yeah, I was going to say, that looked like a foul to me, ref. Yellow card. I haven't got a clue about the new free kick system, so I'm just going to play it short on this one. Best ball there. We need to wake up a little bit there. Maybe a formation change. Maybe the 4 3 3 attack is not the way to go. Come on, Scar. That's why let's see. Better. Bit of short pass there, Coops. Mamba wants to run. As as. No, it's not as as, sorry. Mayor. That's it. Better ticky tacker. This is what we want to see. Middle is open. All there. Oh. So close. We so close to getting a goal with it. Easy. Good save, Coops. Charlton are looking really dangerous, man. I think we need to change something up at half time. Just could bring the keeper out a little bit. So let me throw him off a little bit. Oh, that's yours. Nice. Yeah, Mum. Nice. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. On the attack. Hardy wants it. Turn him. Nice. Worker wants it on the wing. He's got the pace, the young lad. Have a little pop. Ah, oh, good save. From the keeper. Right, again, I don't got a clue how this works. Oh, I'm going for it. Oh my Jesus Christ. Yeah, I need to work on that. 
Give it in properly, perhaps. Oh my god. And half time goes. So yeah, I think I'm even gonna make some changes. Maybe do a little formation change as well. Alright, so we're just jumping into the second half. I thought I'd just show you what I've done to change for the team. I've brought on the new sign in. I've done for I've gone for 4 2 3 1. I've put Grant in DM and he hasn't got like a minus. I know he, he can't actually play there, but I'm not getting a minus for it. He looked like he potentially could do a job there. But see if we can turn this half around. Oh, it's not the start you want, is it? It's absolutely shocking. That's why I don't play Grant there. Should learn from my mistakes. As I was running through there. This is a lot better from the team. The new sign in back post. There he is! He's done it! The new sign in! There he is! Impact sub! What a letter from the youngster. He's just joined the club. Whitaker back post cross. He's ran in, dived in there. You're not saving them. What a start for the youngster. That's what you want to see. Boosh. Not saving him. Let's back on. That's it. Get the fans behind us. Get cheering. They've had their half time pasties. They've had their half time stellas. Let's get behind the team. Come on. Lovely ball that. Here we go again. Ah, oh, shocker. Oh, goes a second team, second half team. We all know that. Oh, shit. Yes, the white head Van Dyke has come through again. Get out! That's not a good clearance. Ooh. Fraser nearly makes it three-one. I don't know why my man, my man, is trying to make a sub. I'm in control, not you, you rat. Oh, not the best ball, Grant. Come on. That's it. Get it to the wing. Get it to Big Mamba. We know, we know he's a baller. That's alright. We take those. Argo fans seem a bit 50 50. Comeback's on, though. I've said it. There it is. Mamba wants it. Not Mamba. Richard's the new signing. Oh, he's still got it, the lad. Nope, he's lost it. Shock it. Win it back. Nice. Ah, oh, lucky. Just try to feed him through there. Let's see. He's on his own. Don't want it. Nice, but uh, well done. Substitution here for Charlton. Oh, shit, I left him go. Oh, I've dived in. This is not good. Get it out. Oh, they've done it. Shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, mate. FIFA stepped up with the AI this year, man. Like, that was hard to defend, man. Every time I switch a player, they're like, oh, alright. <laughs> I don't know what Dan Scar's doing there, man. Like, I don't know if I should have done better there. Probably should have, but. Whoa, ref. But hey, I don't give up. Oh, passes like that, though, it don't help. This, look, this seems a lot better than this formation. New signing's doing really well. As as, have a little pop. Ah, not the best. The new signing, I mean, I know he's 56 rated, mate, but I ain't gonna lie, he's been probably the best player on the pitch since he's gone on. He's he's doing things, and that's a good sign. But this is what we have pre-season. If we lose this game, big deal. I mean, it, it happens. It's what we have pre-season for, so we can work on this. I could have been an idiot and skipped it and... Oh, come on, boys. That's slop, hey! I didn't aim it there. For sake. Hold on. Nice. I do not want Big Van Dyke to be running that. Oh, he wants it. It's through the cap there. Pass back's on. Oh, how's that not gone in? What a block from the defender. How have we not scored that? It's on a plate, my son. Just spit it in the goal. What a block, man. Get it in, get it in there. Oh, it's terrible. I need to work on them. I need to look into that. It's brand new uh, this year, so... Go on, Grant. Oh, I thought we'd go around him. Oh, no, he could be injured here. So he stayed down. Mm 
Oh, Mumba's had a shocker! Oh, Mumba. Mumba, what is that touch? Mumba, Mumba, Mumba. Just to clarify, I didn't press anything there. I've just touched the ball to touch it down and get it out. And he's just done a really heavy touch. What is this touch from Mumba? You're supposed to be the main man. What is that? Oh, and we've got an injury as well. Grant, oh, it's, it's not gone well, is it? Oh, who do we pit here? We just got to pit Edwards there. Pit Edwards there, and then we'll get, I don't know, Miller on. You know, I'm not really too disheartened because, you know, like I said, throughout this whole game, this is what we need. We need, we need to learn from our mistakes and bounce back. I think we need to find our formation. I know we've conceded more goals this half, but this one seems more attacking. It seems, it just seems better. Hardy wants it. Good turn from Hardy. Play it back. No one in the box. Is he offside? Ah, oh, he's offside. Ah, it is what it is. It's not the best result for Argo here. Oh, hello. A consolation, perhaps? We might get that. Yeah, unlucky. Uh, you got to be quicker there. You've got to be quicker. Oh, and it's not good here. Leave us alone. You've already battered us hard as it is. Good save, Coop. I ain't gonna lie, mate. The eight. I might have to go down to world class. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They stepped up this year. This AI. It didn't used to be this hard as last year. We did have some limbs though on the new signing. I will say that we did, and uh, it's just little sloppy passes. We need to be better. Mum was through. To be fair, God, let's get a consolation for the fans. Here comes Hardy. I know Azaz. Az Az He's bloody missed it. What a prat. What a Azaz. Oh my God, that's this. This is what I'm working with. This is what needs to be better with our goal. You've got to finish that. It's just embarrassing. Look what you're doing to our fans. It is what it is. The final whistle should be going now. And there it is. A 4-1 defeat. I think we should at least got... I reckon we should at least got one or two more. We should have definitely scored that tapping and that there at the end. In my eyes, it's 4-3. <laughs> um, it is what it is. Rodeo, so I might leave the episode here. I've just realised as well and kind of forgot uh, to do the training. Uh, so next episode I might just go through all that or I might do it now actually so you don't have to watch me doing all these boring um, set pieces and these training drills so yeah, if you like the video um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in episode 2 of the Plymouth Fargo Fever 23 career bye